It's important for Shirley Oaks to stay ahead with advances in technology, especially in the field of imaging. It speeds up diagnosis. A patient can come in and find out what their problem is or what's been worrying them very quickly and have their mind put at rest. Technology has sped up the patient's pathway. Results can be available you know, on the computer at your fingertips a lot earlier. This is a one-off unique thing for Shirley Oaks Hospital to be involved with the British Museum. The relationship with the British Museum came about because I'd worked in another hospital where we'd scanned one mummy and having an interest in Egyptology myself I thought it would be good for the department to actually invite the British Museum via email and see if we got a response. Because such opportunities are very very rare and this allowed us a very unique opportunity to, to acquire new information, new data on uh, parts of our collections which have never been CT scanned before. Because at the British Museum we tend not to um, unwrap our material because it is a destructive activity and we want to preserve all the information which is contained in the wrappings themselves. And if you do unwrap them then you will uh, lose, you will gain information but the process of unwrapping will actually also destroy some information. It's important to offer our services to allow them to research their mummies further and also to give my staff an excellent opportunity to do um, CT on things they would never otherwise get to do so it extends their professional development. Um, and also within the hospital it's been a huge morale booster and everyone's been involved and very excited so it's been a really positive thing for the, for the whole of the hospital. A CT scanner is a ring shaped scanner with an x-ray tube on the inside. The tube spins in a circle 360 degrees around the patient. We then use the powerful workstation computer to gather all this information to create image slices of the patient. It's a very good exam to see inside the body, to see all the organs. It's very important to children because it's a very fast exam and painless and we can do without sedation. The scans do differ in a number of ways. Uh, the mummification process basically results in drying out of all the tissue and that's whether it's natural mummification due to the sterile conditions of the desert or whether it's due to artificial mummification but effectively it dries out all the soft tissue and in fact there's very little soft tissue visible but the skeletal tissue that we can see looking at these images they are very similar to the images that we would obtain every day in living individuals. We've learnt a lot, but I think the, f the more we analyse the data, the more we'll find uh, and hopefully uh, we will be able to age and sex all the material to a certain extent. We brought a range of mummies and we also uh, had material of them in the ancient Egypt and Sudan collections which has never been imaged including two pre-dynastic mummies and as far as I'm aware it's the first time that pre-dynastic mummies have been CT scanned. I think that the scans have shown something I wasn't expecting. I was particularly interested in the scans of the canopic jars which I understand from the curator of the museum were from the time of the pharaoh Ramesses and for the first time ever we were able to see what was inside these jars and what was inside them was a little coffin which was effectively in the image of an ancient goddess and the detail is so good on this CT scanner that we can actually see uh, the features of the face and the goddess and really I thought it was amazing that I uh, and the radiographer and the museum staff were looking at a face that had not been seen for 3,200 years today. I thought it was very important for Shirley Oaks to offer their facilities to the British Museum. It's a very worthy cause. We're honoured to be involved in their research. I think it's a great morale booster for staff working here, both nursing staff, clinical staff, consultants, being able to participate in finding out what happened in ancient Egypt many years ago. And it makes it a very social day as well as an ordinary working day. And it's been of great interest to all the staff working here.